yeah, live with it because that is the reality of life. Hi guys, I hope you've been well and you've been keeping safe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I had my last video uploaded and thank you so much guys for the love that you've shown me in this video. I really, really appreciate it. So today I want us to discuss about the reality of life. Well, life is interesting. Life can be short. Life can be long. Life can be can be up and down at this time you're mourning, the other time you're so happy. Life has a lot to offer and we just need to understand that there are some realities that you must go through at some point in your life. And this is a very broad topic, so maybe I'll call this part one because you're going to discuss maybe another time the part two of it. So this is what I think, so do not come shooting on me. Please, if you think you have a different perspective towards this topic, comment below. Give me what you're thinking, give me what you understand life how you understand life and guys i'll appreciate thank you so much if you're new here my name is Shitabs. please check me on my socials check me on instagram and check me on facebook and also do not forget to subscribe the first thing that i want us to discuss is that you cannot please everyone this is something that we all need to understand that yes you can never please everyone even amongst your family like you have your cousins you have your your aunties there's some people who you will never please and even if you're so good to them they'll still find something of fault in you so just understand that do not be so angry about people not uh, are loving you or people not appreciating you or people not recognizing you yeah just and um, just be cool just be cool with it and yeah live with it because that is the reality of life the second thing is that at some point, guys, this is sad, it might sound harsh, but I just have to say this. At some point, guys, you will lose someone you love. Honestly, this is a sad reality, but it is there. Grief is part of life. We lose our loved ones, we lose our friends, we lose our parents, unfortunately. If we were to be asked, you could live with your loved one once forever, but now this cannot happen. I shot a video a while ago about how I lost my dad uh, six months to my wedding, guys. It was devastating. I never saw, I never actually uh, visualized having to lose someone I love. I never it was frightening i i mean the, the thought of it wasn't even coming to my mind because this was very very frightening and it happened guys i lost my dad a man i loved deeply so you, you you're just supposed to be ready for this because when grief hits it hits guys it hits like i don't know much to say about this because it's quite a sensitive topic but we are supposed to understand that guys at some point in our lives we are going to lose our loved ones so the other thing is that success is not about talent guys you know there are so many talented people out here success is about determination and hard work there are so many talented people out here guys but they are not working hard people are talented in all sorts of things they are they're drawing and all that, but they're not putting their work out here. They're not trying to reach people who can sell them. They are not doing anything about their uh, their, bra their their talent. You know, guys, um, if I sing, I cannot just say there and say, yo, I'm talented. Yes, but no one, no one has heard my voice. No one has, has even heard me sing. So we just supposed to understand that we need to go out there we need to work hard we need to be determined we need to to just uh remove the shame maybe that comes with you telling everyone about what you do you know sometimes you might feel like oh 
Okay, na niki muambia and they won't help. Yeah, just tell everyone whatever you're doing. Post your work on social media. Go to the studio if you need to go. Do everything, guys, so that people can actually see your your talent. You know, what happens is that very few people out here are earning from their talents. And it's because they have decided to toa migu kwenye gambu. Tuwaka toa migu. And they are out there and they are doing great and marvelous things. So, do not, do not be afraid about failure. Do not be afraid about maybe being people not receiving you as you expect. Yeah, but work hard and the talent will pay at some point. The other thing, guys, I want to talk about is that <clears throat> at some point in your life, you're going to fail. Or rather, you're going to feel like you failed. May it be in your schoolwork, may it be in your relationships, may it be in your marriage, may it be at work. At some point, you might feel like, ah, oh, I'm not doing my best. Or you might feel like, I, I need to do more. And this is good because it pushes you to be a better version of yourself. So if I told you, you have never gotten to this point, just know that it's coming at some point. You feel like I've wasted time. You feel like I need to be better. I need to be doing better than whatever I'm doing. For instance, for me, if this is YouTube, um, if at all I don't have that down moment, I'll definitely not have a moment that I'm going to rise. So you can never go up without going down. And yes, that's the reality of life. Uh, most of the success stories that we hear, you'll find that the person was at their lowest moment when they discovered something about themselves, when they they reconnected with their, their themselves, when they 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 even found love. Maybe they were just at their their lowest point. So when you have that feeling, just know that you're on the right track and you're going to make it. You're going to rise up again and be strong. Do not feel like you're a failure and use that to, to go into depression or use that to to just condemn yourself and all that. So guys, I have some notes here. That's why you're seeing that in Ainama. And today I'm shooting from my bedroom. So yeah, it's at night. It's like, what time is it? It's 12.42, guys. Yo, <laughs> it's creating content. We have to do this, guys. So... <clears throat> There's another reality that we can never be equal. Like, we are born from the same mom, we can never be equal. We've gone to the same school, we can never be equal. We live in the same apartments, we can never be equal. We come from the same hometown, we can never be equal. That's the reality of life. That, that, that is true because... When you're here, there's someone that is here and there's someone that is down here. Like, life is like a ladder. You think that you're at your lowest, someone else is at their lowest, like they are lower than you. You think that you're the richest and guys, someone is out there doing big things. But that should not make you feel bad. It should, it should just give you the energy to even push forward, to even push more and more. Knowing that you have not gotten to the end of life, like they say, the sky is the limit. You know, you can go higher and higher and higher as you want, depending on the efforts that you're putting into whatever you're doing. If it's business, if it's school, if it's family, whatever you want to do, do it to the best, guys. Yes. So, another thing is that instant gratification will rob your happiness. This maybe, let's say, goes to relationships, I could say. You see those relationships that are like, like, <clears throat> you just woken up, you meet this guy, yo, and it's all over, like, you're feeling everything in your body, nini nini, all of a sudden, you're, 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 you're feeling like, it's happened too fast. Most of these things do not last. Like, when you're the microwave generation, 
when you feel like your friendships are not making it they are they are coming in very fast and some die very fast some relationships come very fast and they die very fast because at some point guys it's not real yeah it's not following the rules of the reality of life <laughs> i don't know if that's going to be my topic my video title the rules of the reality of life yeah so please work hard trust the process if it's hard it's hard guys do not do not want do not rush it do not rush a process so that you can feel like oh yeah i made it because at the long run it's going to rob all the happiness that you had so trust the process let it be slow if it's slow let it go pole pole and at the end of the day guys you'll be a happy person yeah i'd hate to be happy for one minute and the other i'm crying yeah guys so the other thing is the best investment you can make is investing in yourself invest in yourself like <clears throat> be the best version of yourself enjoy yourself like enjoy being you enjoy being you enjoy loving yourself enjoy treating yourself invest heavily if at all if it's cool invest heavily in the right relationships invest heavily in good sleep invest in good books invest in knowledge invest in everything about yourself not to be selfish but you know what when you have invested in yourself you'll definitely invest in other people when i know i love myself i'll definitely love the other person even better when i know that yo knowledge is power i'm going to empower the other people outside outside there so invest in yourself learn to love yourself learn to appreciate yourself learn to grow because guys at this point that we are in at the, the time that we are in trust me guys people right left and center are learning things so if i told you out there and you're just on tiktok and you're just on social media people out here are working hard to grow you know people are working hard to grow people are working hard to to develop technology is shifting like everything is changing so fast guys so invest in yourself invest in good books if at all you want to learn about money invest in the best books go to the internet there is so much information on the internet but we wouldn't just sit down and think yo i'll grow you can't grow without putting in some effort the other thing is that like if you are afraid to fail you'll never evolve like to the fullest you know failure is is going to happen so do not be afraid to fail because the process of failure will as i said earlier when you fail you rise and you continue and you learn at that point you can imagine um not trying something and at the end of the day maybe it could have worked maybe just maybe so uh we need to 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 remove the fear we need to remove fear of failure because trust me you guys i know it's not easy i've been there i feared to start business for the longest time i thought i could not i could not do business yes i started a business this year and it failed like whew. it failed like i was doing jewelry these earrings and necklaces and it failed i i felt like it's not the best business that i'm in i'm supposed to be in and i started another one which i'm selling household items yes you can check it out on facebook or instagram it's called she home deco stores and guys i was fearing that i will not make money or i will not how will i talk to a customer but guys yes the fear can make you stay at a point in life for the longest time it can make you not make that extra coin it can make you not meet that amazing person because you're fearing to go out and meet people it can make you just be there just be there like do not do not do not be afraid to to go ahead and try things so that you can evolve to the fullest and be the best version of yourself the last thing that i'd like us to talk about is time 
honestly i'm not the best time manager and uh, i'm trying as much as i can to just to be the best in this sector i love to sleep sometimes i get distracted yeah but i'm trying to 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 work on myself and i've learned over time that if at all you do not manage time you'll end up being frustrated frustrated oh the kikuyu in me you'll end up being frustrated you'll end up uh, having a lot of work you'll end up having a dirty house you'll end up having a pile of clothes you'll end up feeling like everyone is on you and they're telling you where is my report where is that and that you'll end up not having time to go out you'll end up not being happy basically because honestly no one wants to see a pile of clothes on their laundry basket no one wants to see dishes that are dirty and you will feel like you're a failure and all that will come crumbling down on you blah 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 just because you did not manage your time so this is the topic for another day honestly i'm working on myself and when i get it i'm going to come back to you and tell you how i worked my time management and especially because i'm working from home when you're working from home you can be a little la bit lazy if you're not careful so i need to just get it all together so that i'll come back to you guys and tell you what is working for me and what is not the biggest struggle that i have is that i am not a morning person and i'm trying to break that mentality right now i'm reading the book the 5 a.m club <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm, I'm going to move from the white shout, the 8 a.m., 8.30 club to the 5 a.m. club. But guys, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. So, from this book, I'm going to also come back and tell you what I've learned. And maybe I can finish this video with a beautiful quote that I came about from this book. And it says, Excuses are seducers. Your fears are liars and your doubts are thieves. They are going to rob your happiness. They are going to... They make it hard. You know, when you have excuses every time, excuses are really nice. You know, when you're asked, why did you not do that? Uh, you find something very quick in your mind and you tell people because and because and because. Um... <clears throat> you wake up in the morning and you're feeling tired and it's an excuse for you to go back to bed and Your fears they will lie to you. They will tell you how you're not a good person How you cannot do business how you are not born in a family that has done business Those are fears Your doubts their doubts honestly they are thieves. They will steal everything good from you when you're doubting yourself, it will steal your joy, it will steal your happiness, it will steal everything, guys. It will steal everything. So that is a quote from the 5 a.m. club book by Robin Sharma, and it's a beautiful book. And if you want to read this book, tell me down below. I can give you the links and all that. It's a wonderful book, guys. So how many points were those? I think they were around nine. And guys, that's it for today. I love you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know how long that video is. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for always coming back. Thank you so much to my returning subscribers. Thank you guys. And if you're not subscribed, guys, you know like 60% of my subs of my viewers have not subscribed. If only you could subscribe subscribe and help me grow this channel i know it could be awesome so asante ni sana keep safe guys covid is real go being vaccinated if you've not been vaccinated yeah and let's spread the love let's spread the love guys that is all everyone needs and see you next time i hope to bring you back another topic and if you have a topic that you would love us to discuss please comment down below and i'll do my research and come back with some good points for you guys so yo until next time see you guys i love you um bye